Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I am convinced that we are living in a bad timeline. What the actual hell is going on in the gaming scene, in the YouTube scene, right? Because it feels like that every day, some is going on. And yes, like the Mr. Beast accusations, crazy. Have been crazy, still are crazy, and now they're even worse because a lot of people are starting to look like this and i got a video that i want to share with you guys like the video if you love god like the video if you love your mama let's go for two likes on the video and check this one out fellas i don't think you're ready shout out to the homie more pegasus roll it mr beast has just been sued by five people in a class action lawsuit and it's not looking good this lawsuit is regarding beast games and mr beast's amazon show so as usual we're just gonna go over all of the news so you guys are up to date so last okay. video we talked about how og youtubers like dan tdm were calling out mr beast ksi and Logan Paul for using their audience as money bags and trying to sell them garbage yeah. ultra processed food. They came out with a Lunchables competitor called Lunchly and got massive backlash by the <laughs> entire internet. If you want the in-depth- to, uh, to be honest though, like seeing everybody's reaction online, I I'm like faith in humanity restored because I feel like that a lot of people are now realizing and waking up and a lot of people are saying no to the bull squash, right? Because uh, I'm listen, man. I'm all up for people starting their products and selling. Like I, I get it. Like gotta make the money. Gotta make the money. I, I'm not against that. Okay, I'm not against that. You gotta make the money. You gotta make the money. I get that, right? But people are now up in arms because of the crap product that they're selling to kids. Because their biggest audience, their target audience, is kids. In a way, nothing wrong with that if you make content for the kids. But if you're gonna be pushing crap products to the kids on the kids, then they got a problem, right? So yeah right a lot of people are now talking about it and talking against it which is good to see very good to see Ep story you can watch my previous video but since then we have several updates ksi logan and mr beast have all responded to dan tdm separately another og youtuber jacksepticeye has chimed in once again and the entirety of twitter is absolutely jacksepticeye a year and a half ago i believe at this point or maybe longer than that did come out uh, come after mr beast and he faced a lot of backlash because yeah, uh, around that time, people were not aware. People were not aware as to what was going on. Cooking all three of the scumbag trio. This is so Ooh. satisfying, man. Finally. So let's start with the lawsuit. No. Here we have an article by Variety. Mr. Beast and Amazon sued by contestants on Beast Games competition show with allegations including sexual harassment and chronic mistreatment. Here we have a redacted copy of the complaint. It's Holy. 54 pages. So obviously, I'm not going to go through all of that. But basically, the contestants are California residents. One is a US resident, I guess. And then the complaints are for failure to pay minimum wages. That's Crazy. Wait, okay, so California resident and what is a US resident? Uh, what? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't get it. I mean, I'm in Canada. I don't get it, man. So California is in the US too, bruh. California ain't a country, man. But I get it. It's a it's a state. It's a big state. I get it. I get it. I get it. Liquidated damages for it. Pay, failure to pay minimum wages, failure to pay overtime, failure to prevent harassment, negligent infliction of emotional distress, failure to provide uninterrupted meal breaks, uninterrupted rest breaks, pay wages promptly upon termination, false advertising, unfair business practices. Basically, a bunch of stuff that's not good that we pretty much covered in the previous videos as well. If you've been, <laughs> yo. Okay, 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 forget that, right? Forget that part. But how is Mr. Beast having problem paying minimum wages? <laughs> yeah, right, he's like, hey, stand uh, for a minute and I'll give you $2. Stand for 100 minutes, I'll give you a million bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? watching my uh, 50 piece saga over here. Several contestants ended up hospitalized while others reported suffering physical and mental complications while being subjected to chronic mistreatment, degradation, and for the female contestants, hostile working conditions. From one of the female plaintiffs, I wanted to join because I was a fan of Mr. Beast and his videos made me smile during the pandemic. I expected to be challenged, but I didn't think I would be treated like nothing, less than nothing. As one of the women, I can say it absolutely felt like a hostile environment for us. We on Welcome to the world, sweetie. That's how it works out, boo boo. Like, that's how it is. But but listen, man, I don't want to... Okay, on this part alone, right? This part alone. Surely, we don't... We were not there, okay? We were not. Maybe you were there in your dreams or something like that and let us know what happened, okay? Or if you were there for real, for real, like dead ass, like physically, like dead ass, okay? Let me know what happened. Bruh. But in this one, on this part, like if Mr. Beast or anybody for the matter is holding a con contest, right? Uh, and you're the participation of course like depending on the stakes or depending on the prize they're about to be some stakes they're about to be the competition gonna get stiff the competition is gonna be 
a little hard let me just put it this way right so on this part for example like uh, normally mr beast gives uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars right uh millions sometimes even so if he's giving away that much and you're participating in his uh, prize uh and you're a contestant of course like it's gonna be a little hard i think it's gonna be challenging i guess uh she realizes that it's gonna be a uh, challenge i expect it to be challenged but i didn't think i would be treated like nothing less okay no, no that's fair that's your right but i'm I, I cannot blame fully mr beast on that one but uh, of course like what we're learning is that mr beast was not even paying minimum wages they were being sexually harassed or something like that that's what it's claimed in the lawsuit it's a lawsuit so it does not mean it's a hundred percent factual just yet but still i mean damn bro what was going on like and apparently they some contestants were hospitalized what was going on there what was going on there man honestly could not have been respected less as people much less employees if they tried okay so obviously this is a huge deal we've talked about this in several videos before I talked about the unsafe conditions in the mr beast challenges where allegedly contestants ended cookie. up in the hospital were denied medication and much more and i distinctly remember when i covered it okay there were a lot of comments saying oh stop covering this oh this isn't important oh there were just texts oh the people are just saying that for cloud focus on the real allegations meanwhile i literally talked to several contestants on beast games in private who all you know reached out to me and shared the stories they just wanted to be anonymous so that's why i didn't post it on my channel but yeah bing bang bong what did i say it's now a freaking lawsuit and probably the biggest headache that mr beast has right now all right so it's not a trivial situation to have contestants allegedly hospitalized all right when you <laughs> okay that that's a crazy meme to put there make a big production like this you got to be prepared and take care of everyone because obviously in physical challenges there's going to be rough housing and you got to protect people obviously yeah but but here's the thing we what kind of physical damage they had i mean i guess they said they were hospitalized i mean holy crap right but but still like i'm wondering like what kind of what happened that m made them go to the hospital we also just learned that they were not letting them have their medicine like mr beast come on man like what are we talking about let them have their medicine bro like damn like th this is crazy this is all crazy man Obviously. Here's what people are saying. He replied to drama alert about feastables, but not serious allegations. The downfall has begun. It actually... Okay, he did respond. That is wild. Uh, and what we're now learning is that uh, he did not respond to all the allegations. Of course, that Chris Tyson situation, insane. Mr. Beast having like that PD, uh, PD guy. I cannot say the full word on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing. That PD guy uh, on his team while knowing he was a PD that done crap to the miners, right? Um, Yeah, for real, for real yeah those are the craziest allegations right those are bigger than just allegations of course we have seen the proof with uh chris tyson and the pd guy yeah people went crazy people went fbi mode people went detective mode found the receipts found the 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 police report on the guy as well and apparently mr beast knew about it and still had him on the team right so yeah th th those are the uh, yeah those are the they are bigger than allegations but okay, okay allegations those allegations are wild now these are also wild don't get me wrong but yeah like this is what he's responding to he's only responding to the the lunchly thing the the food that he's coming out with right now but he's not responding to everything else just yet started two months ago if you watch the more pegasus channel craziest part is not even paying minimum wages that is just insanity from yeah, someone yeah, like yeah. mr beast who hands away 10k uh, supposedly randomly we even got rosanna pancino chiming in once again the stories i've continued to hear are heartbreaking i talked to a few executives Holy. at major networks that ran away from funding beast games because jimmy wanted Holy. full control the way he treats people in private is disgusting uh i, I think there's nothing there, there is nothing wrong in wanting full control because after all mr beast uh channel is his channel he's allowed to do whatever he wants as long as he's not breaking terms of service of youtube and uh you know what i mean right but uh but 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 the fact that we're hearing he couldn't even give minimum wages like damn bro like what what, what, what you do it normally you give him a million dollars millions and millions of dollars man so you couldn't even give that way that much it's not even giving that much it's about like paying people accordingly right it's for for their time but 
And she's tagged YouTube. What if Amazon sues him to recoup their losses and to get out of releasing the show? That would probably right. end his career. Well, Jay right. just gave Amazon a brilliant idea. I don't know <laughs> if they can do that, but I, I don't know, bro. Turns out the story is going even more mainstream. CNN is now covering the story on their homepage. Here we got an article by CNN. Mr. Beast production company and Amazon are being sued for alleged harassment of contestants on his Holy reality show. Me. Now imagine Mr. Beast is sweating right now because he wants to avoid a PR. To Yo, that is crazy though. Now I'm not sure if CNN actually covered the story of uh, Dr. Disrespect and the, the allegation that went down because Here's the thing though, New York Times, I remember, did cover it. A lot of outlets covered it, right? Like that situation was everywhere. But the Chris Tyson situation, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Only, only a few selected YouTubers talked about it and all that crap because, you know, he's, uh, he's protected. He's in that protected class, which is just like wild. But uh, yeah, uh, now he got sued and Amazon getting sued, I guess this is a, uh, big enough story which is unavoidable so they're like covering it okay i guess but but still wild uh to see cnn now pick it up because this drama has been going on for how long yeah and it died down actually it did die down and now it's getting revived once again it's getting picked up once again holy crap man it seems like that it's a never-ending situation and he hasn't even responded to uh any of the allegations he he only responded to the feastable crap right now but disaster by absolutely all means and it's it is heaven. just not going his way everybody's covering it he seems to keep messing up over and over and over again and turns out the lawsuit is probably gonna get worse because mr beast actually ignored everybody's warnings and continued to film his beast game show and another disaster has happened a mr beast crew member was allegedly hospitalized on september the 11th after part of Holy. a tower at beast games collapsed on them while filming the accident took place at the end of filming on september 11 when a six by six piece of a tower fell on the unnamed person this guy went from mr beast for president to the most hated YouTuber in a span of a month. Here's one of the people reporting the story. Steven says, I can now confirm that at the end of filming on September 11, a six foot by six foot piece of the tower at the Beast Games fell on the crew member. Emergency services were called and they were brought to the hospital where they still remain. A Mr. Beast spokesperson declined to comment. Obviously, gotta decline to comment there. Oh, a crew member is borderline about to die? Uh, no comment, no comment. So obviously, this is why people were actually concerned with Mr. Beast not taking safety precautions when doing- Inconclusive, as uh, Mr. Beast would always say, inconclusive, inconclusive, not not enough. Or what was the other word? He always says something like that, right? Uh, inconclusive, and then uh, he also did say that, but there was another word that he always liked to say, man. Doing his massive challenges, kind of just wants the thing to happen at any cost. He invests millions of dollars into these little shows, but apparently not looking after people's safety because people's safety doesn't really earn any money. Somebody said, not while filming. This honestly happens all the time when sets are taken down, not giving Amazon and Jimmy a free pass. But if this happened, not America's Got Talent, it wouldn't even be news. This is- I, I hear, I hear what he's trying to say, but like, this is absolutely not the normal. Yeah, I, I feel like that on- Nah, to say that it would it would have happened on America's Amer and like first of all I don't watch Americans Got Talent or anything like that. <laughs> but uh, but here's the thing though on like official productions like the movie sets the TV shows especially the union ones right uh, they take care of that stuff right they make sure people are the extra workers as well uh, you know the background workers the Whenever you see a movie, when you see like hundreds of people in the background, all of them are paid. Oh, shit. If you if you did not know, right? Those are those people are paid and they take care of those people, right? Food is generally provided. If it's not provided, they will tell you it's not provided, right? Before you sign up for it or before you come in. And then it's your decision whether you want to show up or not show up. And if you're going to show up, well, there's no not going to be food. So there you will be provided a lunch break. And during that break, you can go out and buy your food. Yeah, simple as that, right? So they would give you those options. Those are like the official productions, but uh, it seems like that Mr. Beast was not doing any of that, or perhaps the people he hired to set up the entire set, the filming set, were not uh, com competent to, uh, enough to do that. I, I don't know what happened. Of course, I was not there, so we're still trying to process and make sense of it, but... Uh, yeah, a crazy situation, man. Listen, man, absolutely not situation. the normal. Yeah, I don't think people are regularly being sent to the hospital after towers break and fall on them. I don't know why people are still glazing Mr. Beast at this point. Rosanna Pansina tweets, major crew member injury in the set of Beast games. I can also confirm there are more not yet reported contestant injuries as well from the Toronto uh, Beast game shoot. Holy. This information comes only days after. Yo, I'm in Montreal, man. Oh, shit. Oh, Damn. Shit. 
So, yo, how do you go on Mr. Beast sets, right? Like, I want to go as an extra there too. Like, let me, let me, let me catch some of that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me see, like, how it's like. Like, I, I want to show up there and I want to feel like, uh, not getting paid enough. For, uh, said no one ever, but, but like, I want to see. Like, I want to, I want to, I want to be an eyewitness testimony for these videos. Like, okay, I need to find out, like, how do you be an extra on the Mr. Beast games uh, shows though reports of not enough safety measures on the Toronto Beast game set. Down back in the replies, a 6x6 foot piece of the cement tower fell on a crew member a week ago and they're still in the hospital. I hope they make a full recovery 100%. and get a massive settlement check. That is terrifying. And Doc Pack has attached a couple Holy. images here of the supposed tower, it seems. I mean, if, if this is falling out- Yo, nah. Now, for, to be fair though, like, uh, I hope that person makes full recovery, man. Hopefully it wasn't super serious or anything like that. Hopefully they did not get any irreversible damage. Absolutely. Prayers out, man. Prayers out, bro. But yo, could you imagine? on you this is gonna hurt all right obviously if it was cement the person would be dead depends on the height it fell it could also be one of the square number things whatever those are made of but the tower appears to be 95 percent cement which is what cbc reported either way something heavy enough to hospitalize someone for over a week yeah that Crazy. is absolutely horrifying uh nobody should be working with mr beast uh unless he gets his safety and gear in my uh, and, and i don't want to sound like i'm defending mr beast here because i'm not but sometimes of course the rare circumstances can happen where he did not intend i don't think he intended to let's be real he has been and this happened recently right this happened after all the these allegations w going down right with the chris tyson situation right like that the pd guy that he had in his team just insane amount of allegations after all of them with proof of course as well i don't think he yeah he nobody i would say in his position would want to catch that much heat not defending here but you know, I'm just trying to like make sense, uh, trying to cover all the sides as uh, possible, trying to be unbiased on the story. Of course, he's in the wrong. Absolutely, he is. Okay, but uh, it could be maybe maybe they cheapened out on certain aspects. Maybe that's that's the case. Maybe that's why it, it fell. Maybe some or, or maybe it was a like a random natural disaster. You know what I mean? But my opinion, just now, Rizzo also points out that a lot of the reporting is being actually referenced in these actual lawsuits, which is absolutely insane. Someone pointed out to me that some of my coverage of Beast Games and Mr. Beast was referenced three times in the new lawsuit against Mr. Beast and Amazon. That's why it's important to use their voice and speak up. The people that came to me were scared because of their NDAs, but now their Dang. stories can be heard. This is also why certain people always try to silence you. They don't want the truth getting out. And yeah. we got some of your videos actually linked there, which is actually insane. By the way, I don't know if I'm actually mentioned in this lawsuit. I am not going through the 54 pages to find out. But uh, yeah, if you find something, let me know. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen with the lawsuit? My guess is, unfortunately, they're going up against Mr. Beast and Amazon, two bajillionaire corporations. I don't yeah, know how much the five mm. contestants can afford in legal fees or if other people are going to be joining this lawsuit, if that's even possible. But they might just get buried in money trouble before any resolutions. But maybe... Yeah, right. Imagine, like... Because they, they can afford... Uh, oh, Amazon can afford some of the best lawyers. I, I, oh, bro, like, they're going to dry your wallets out, okay? And imagine like these five people at one point they're just not able to compete they're not able to pay understandably understandably then it's like over they lose the money and then nothing happens yo we need like a billionaire on this one man we need somebody like big enough to join the fight man and if you join the fight like i, I guess you can also come in i could be wrong though I, I don't know man i guess if you're a billionaire you join the fight you fund th this and if you win i guess at the end you can also demand money uh double the money that you put in right uh and ultimately you get the ry as well yeah you know what i'm saying you you can win the case and get money from amazon and mr beast by winning the case be depending on what they can prove they can actually win millions of dollars from mr beast as well and it would be very hard for mr beast to continue his amazon show as well but this is a crazy turn of events because we all thought that mr beast would be trying to sue dog pack for defamation but the first lawsuit was actually against mr beast seems like the cease and desist sent to dog pack was seemingly just an intimidation tactic because nothing actually happened despite dog pack explicitly violating uh, the, the conditions laid out by mr beast that hey you better take down everything or i'm gonna sue you but nothing actually happened so yo this man started everything or I should say, like, this man, Chris Tyson, started everything. <laughs> but after that, this man started everything. And the drama did die down, though. But now it's...
Yeah, coming back in full circle. I'm guessing they didn't think they could win the defamation lawsuit. Anyways, we got to move on to the Lunchly ow, situation ow. and Mr. B's KSI and Logan Paul's separate responses to Dan TDM. Spoiler alert, they all failed absolutely miserably. Everybody is still on Dan TDM's side and I will be individually rating each response in this video. And honestly, okay. in my opinion, all three of them have completely destroyed their reputation, at least among adults, okay? Obviously, kids are still going to watch them, but anybody who has a sense of morals or any parents that are watching are probably not yeah. going to let their kids watch these people anymore. So here we have Dan's original tweet just to recap in case you missed the previous video okay so here we have ksi's first response saying looks like crap to me and he's linked a bunch of pictures of dan tdm products uh we got a u2s uh we got uh bruh so you're really gonna compare like actual non-edible stuff with your edible crap and you're gonna call this crap i mean listen even i'm not a fan i'm not an eight, eight, i'm not an eight, i'm not an eight year old despite sounding and acting like one sometimes in videos or maybe all the times so you guys be the judge but 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 brad like you cannot compare this one with edible crab bro holy crap what are we talking about man a diamond pickaxe because uh dan's like a minecraft guy ksi actually got community noted not only has ksi also worked for them before the ceo of youtube's austin long got his start by managing the sidemen and was oh, an executive shit. producer on their youtube red show so <laughs> he's literally buddy buddy with the youtube's guy yet calling his own product crap that is uh absolutely hilarious here's what people are saying and if you notice he got absolutely ratio 20k likes and the first reply already 40k with all due respect bro you have a youtube's too calling out hypocrisy and i'm not the one complaining and crying on twitter though la 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 you missed the point beefing dan tdm is crazy you wish you could make merch this good you thought you cooked with this uh community notes laughing ratio plus respect dan tdm comparing a combo meal of a drink that falsely advertises its ability to hydrate and highly processed snacks to a toy for kids to play okay listen basically the problem is people respect dan tdm about a hundred times more than they respect ksi because dan That's is a wholesome crazy. guy you can always tell that he means well right no no listen uh in the last episode i i said this that i don't know if ksi was in any drama and i still don't know right but it feels like that because of Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, he's getting dragged in. And of course, after what he said, he's going to get dragged in even more. But that's like insane, right? Uh, unless I'm missing it. Unless I'm missing it. Because listen, man, I don't follow like these YouTubers, like all the drama. But for for a while, I would say Kesai has been... Uh, he has a wholesome channel, wholesome career as well. You know, rapper, YouTuber, FIFA enthusiast, try not to laugh, king, whatnot. Right? And all that, right? He makes a... Uh, harmless content and it's quite wholesome as well right and i haven't heard him be in any drama logan paul on the other hand you know crypto zoo situation the the japan incident and all that and now mr beast as well for the last month and a half or two months even we're, we're hearing nothing but bad stuff come out right but for kesa nothing really uh at least that i know of i could be wrong let me know in the comments but now of course it's like he's associated with mr beast and logan paul so People are actually talking about it, and now he's launching this product with them, and he's responding the way he is. Uh, yeah, right? Like, it's 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 wild, man. It's it, wild. He's just trying to help people out. And basically, he recently became a dad, which is why he's probably speaking out about unhealthy food for kids, because he's probably yeah. passionate about it now and wants his child to grow up, you know, big and strong. Meanwhile, yeah, yeah. KSI is an absolute clown, right? He's entertaining, for sure. But he's literally, allegedly, according to CoffeeZilla, a crypto scammer, you know, taking money from his own audience and viewers for his own... He did that as well? Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, I did- Listen, man, I did not know, bro. Like, uh, yeah, I don't follow every every little bull squash that goes down, bro. One personal gain. His biggest business partner and apparently best friend now is Logan Paul, the freaking Japan Forest guy who has also done multiple, multiple crypto scams. Uh, that, that part I knew, of course. But holy crap. Oh my god! Logan even admitted it and then apologized to CoffeeZilla and then retracted that, deleted it, and tried to sue CoffeeZilla for exposing him. What? Yo! So he apologized and then re- Nah, sorry, I'm gonna say psych. I- First of all, he got caught, he's like, Coffee's alone, I'm sorry. Psych! I'm sorry for saying I'm sorry, and he just sued. <laughs> like, what? Uh, what? Uh, yo, Poppy, you real? Poppy, for you for real? Damn, this thing is crazy, bro. Pretending that nothing bad happened. So pretty much nobody respects these people other than kids. I've actually watched KSI for years because, you know, the Sidemen group as a whole, the seven people in there are really funny and entertaining, but I don't really look to them for morals and neither should you. Yeah, They're yeah, just yeah. like a TV show to me, pretty much. Now it turns out- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know that the speed dating thing, it's degenerate. 
it is degenerate. But if you want to watch it for entertain entertainment, I get that. I understand that. I fully understand that, right? But yeah, like when he says morals, yeah, don't follow them for morals. And I feel like that the other uh, sidemen sidemen members are also gonna now get dragged into this one, even if they have nothing to, even though if they have nothing to do with it by the looks of it. But KSI was so salty that he made a follow up tweet digging up a Dan TDM video from ten years ago. Ain't no Bruh. way. Uh, but, 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 but he was talking about food, Bruh. JJ. But he was sponsored, then promoted, and made a whole video on Munchpack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy, to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Now what? Now now, KSI really thought he owned with this, right? We got meet our best sellers, right? We got original munch packs and we got Dan TDM promoting it in a video holding a packet of chips. Now, unfortunately for KSI, he got ratioed again <laughs> to 12K likes, 17K, 38K, 8K. Insane levels of reaching to sell slop to kids. Bro, I'll be honest, your shit just sucks and people like Dan TDM more than you, Lamau. Uh, Squiddy is a Dan TDM friend here and a fellow YouTuber. It's a one-off sponsored video, plus he isn't claiming candy is healthy in the video. You guys own the company yeah. and actively claiming it's a healthy lunch alternative. Facts, facts. And, and he posted that 10 years ago, opinions change, people change sometimes for better, other times for worse. And we're seeing KSI for worse right there, changing for the worse. Based off of what we're seeing. And it's true, I, I guess. I have not seen, I guess I'm going to take the word for it here. Uh, it, it was, a, yeah, okay, it was a sponsor video. That's facts. I'm not sure if he claimed that, if he claimed or did not claim, but what we're learning is that he did not claim that candy was healthy. Uh, right, of course it's not, and it feels like that he didn't claim that either. But KSI, Logan Paul, Mr. Beast, they made their own product claiming it's the best out there, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, very good for the kids when it's not. When it's not. Yeah, there, there are levels to this, right? That's where the problems are. I think anybody with a brain cell can see the difference between a one-off sponsored video and literally owning the whole thing. One-time sponsorship versus owner of a company. Not sure that's the same thing. The PR team saying this classic. You of all people should not be talking about what people did in their past. And I will say KSI's past, like if you go 10 years back, like you're doing with Dan TDM, KSI's past is absolutely crazy. If we brought that on Twitter right now, dude would get canceled instantly, okay? It's just... No, no. People have forgiven him because, you know, time has passed. Damn, JJ, money's changing you. Why is it so hard for you to take criticism without feeling someone is attacking you? Such a sad cope. Why is it so hard for you to take criticism without looking like a bitch? So here is the original video from Dan TDM. It's funny. Not only is there a huge difference because one is a sponsorship and the other is an owner, but the sponsorship... Yo, that came out of nowhere, man. question was a video from nine years ago on a side channel called Love Trying out. Food from Around the World. Very relevant to the, you know, sponsor or whatever. Absolutely crazy, by the way, that KSI thinks that that's actually comparable. Listen, in my opinion, Lunchly is probably going to be ultra-processed garbage that I wouldn't eat on my deathbed. Heck, it'll probably put me there. Not gonna lie. That was a joke for legal reasons. All right. I rate KSI's response a two out of 10. Absolutely trash and petty. Moving on to Logan Paul's response. Logan Paul responds uh -oh. saying, I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building our brands. Now we want to build businesses. You don't say anything when Lunchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead, but when we create a better version, you're upset, then don't eat it. Community noted instantly, Prime Hydration was filed for including lead on three separate occasions. Oh, commenting on Lunchables lid findings while including a drink that is also known to have lead inside a metal pack is very... Okay, uh, I, I personally never had Prime. I don't feel the need to. But allegedly, allegedly, right? Even Prime hydration included lead on three separate occasions. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I don't know how Logan ever opens his mouth regarding anything. This guy just gets bodied anytime he tries to make a point about anything, dude. Consumers report urge USD to remove Lunchables from National School Lunch Program. Yes, replace it with your product. Amazing. You'll get 100 million kids of sales. Amazing. Listen, why would Dan TDM randomly talk about Lunchables? He was only talking about Lunchly because you're a fellow YouTuber and you're pretty much giving all of us other YouTubers a bad name, right? Now, everybody thinks that we're money-hungry, soulless people who will sell out our audience for yeah. a quick buck and not yeah, gonna yeah. lie, you guys definitely fit that description. And it's getting harder and harder to defend youtubers every day you know i'd like to say that we're all just human beings but it seems like youtubers have just like crossed the spectrum like the second you cross like i don't know what subscriber count it's like your brain just goes into mush dude the worst part yeah. about all of this is that they're all literally bajillionaires who don't need money in the slightest they have generational wealth and they're still trying to do this bullshit greedy mother yeah right they, if you think uh, somebody put it this way and if you think about it they could have made something healthy uh they have all the money resources and Clearly, they put together this, so they do have the resources. Now, they could have used the same resources to make something healthy. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, like good for the kids. But they didn't. But they didn't. They could have done that, but they didn't. I I mean like, yeah, bro. Like, why? Like, I mean I know why, but like, flip of stuff. Like I will never understand this. Anyways, Logan's response gets a one out of ten. That's even worse than KSI somehow. Now the entirety of Twitter is just bodying them. POV the entirety of Gen Z when someone talks shit about Dan TDM, and we're just getting strapped here. A real man never speaks ill of Dan TDM. The classic blue-haired goat never speak on Dan TDM. <laughs> and we got the worst name out of that clip. Girl, why are you beefing with Dan TDM? That's like YouTube Jesus. We got the Oompaville essay in responding to Logan Paul as well. Bro doesn't know anything about lead, nor did he read the article. If your argument is that my product is healthier because it doesn't contain as much lead, you are embarrassingly stupid. The lead contamination claim is in regard to CA's lead rules, which are the strictest in the US, but it's the same for the EU. Lead is in everything and is impossible to avoid. Sweet potatoes, which are healthier than your shit lunchable ripoff, contain nearly as much lead in puree than in those unhealthy lunchables. We're talking about oh, parts shit. per billion. It's Yo! Oh, oh, Yo! Bro, everybody's going crazy! Holy crap! But I didn't know that's a- okay, so I didn't know that's- I guess that's a fact, Jack. Okay, that's a fact. You drop in facts, Jack! Uh, okay, okay totally irrelevant and impossible to prevent the consumption of lead, cadmium, arsenic, and all things that are incredibly abundant on Earth. The important thing is mitigating exposure reasonably, not claiming your product is better for you because it may have less lead. Well, now, dark chocolate has so much lead in it, it's crazy how prevalent lead is. They aren't freaking putting lead in the product, you moron. <laughs> this is so misleading. No, another fact! I didn't know dark chocolate had that damn! I heard that dark chocolate was uh, actually good for you. The dark one, right? But not like the okay, the milk one, but the dark one. Like, damn! So it also has that? Oh man, what are we gonna do about this, bro? Kidding. I wouldn't want this idiot anywhere near my product. Holy shit. Oompaville is going absolutely in. Oh my god. I think he's pretty passionate about this because Oompaville also has a candy company and I guess uh, he's a little more knowledgeable about uh, selling food to his audience or something. If you actually want to improve people's lives and not just make money, make the product yourself and take actual responsibility instead of lying and making a fool of yourself on a daily basis and maybe let people know that your product is bad for them and they should consider whole food alternatives as often as possible and this is a bad thing to market in mass to children without any kind of disclaimer or honesty i guess this is as much as i can take right now check out this video on the screen recently we had a ton of drama man like insane drama i'm not sure if you guys heard this or saw this or not insanity man check it out if you already seen it then check out the video on the left some actually good news for gtsx